Hi, I'm Jamie from Eon Wireless Tech Support, and today we're going to talk about how to mount a ruggedized uh, enclosure on a four inch ruggedized uh, mounting bracket on the tower. So before you head up the tower, you want to take a look at your unit. Uh, we want to make sure that the handle is securely uh, uh, affixed to the top of the unit. The top of the unit uh, has usually nothing on the, on the top as far as connections. Most of the connections would be on the bottom of the unit, allowing water to run away from the connections instead of into them. Also, you want to note that the grounding lug has been uh, securely affixed uh, here. Make sure that's been done. And uh, importantly, you want to install uh, these two bolts with uh, a lock washer and a flat washer. Before you head up, you want them in securely enough so they're not going to fall out, but uh, leave yourself lots of room to actually mount onto the bracket later on when you get to the tower. Now the handle is very useful not only for uh, handling the unit when you're at the top of the tower, but you can also clip it onto your harness as you're climbing up, allowing uh, both of your hands uh, to be free for safe ascension. So, now we go all the way up the tower. We have our bracket and our U-bolt. So we're going to, uh, the bracket has uh, grooves that will bite into the pole or the tower that you're connecting it to. So you want to have that flat against the tower and the U-bolt will go in to the two holes along the side of the bracket. Now once you get it in, you want to make sure you have a lock washer both sides, like so, and of course your bolts or your nuts. Once you get it finger tight, Make sure that everything is lined up. You only need one bolt on the bracket because the, uh, the V-shaped uh, columns on the other side will bite into the tower and the weight of the unit will be on the bottom, uh, pressing it in against the tower as well. So the U-bolt is more than sufficient to hold it into place. Now when you get up there, you'll need a 9 16 uh, wrench. You can. Uh, Secure the, the bracket completely to the tower. Make sure it doesn't slip. It's best to uh, alternate tightening, tightening between uh, bolts back and forth so you get a good even torque on the tower and your bracket doesn't get skewed to one side. Final snug up, make sure we're as tight as we can be. There we go. All right, so now our bracket is in place. We've got our unit handily up with us, strapped to our harness, so we're going to take it off. We're going to carefully make sure we have lots of room on our bolts. Don't drop them because it's a long way to the ground. And you put your unit up. As you can see, there is a little bit of a, a lip on the edge of the bracket. So you want to make sure one nut is on one side and the other nut, or the one washer is on one side and the other washer is on the outside.
There. Your handle will also slip down inside of the space in the bracket that's been provided. Make sure that you don't get your fingers jammed between the handle and the bracket. Uh, that's not a fun experience. So you want to lift it in like this so your fingers are not jammed in there. Now, once the uh, unit is sated, uh, safely settled down into the grooves, you can let go. It's all right, it'll stay there and allow you lots of time to tighten up the bolts. Start by finger tightening. Again, it's probably good practice to uh, alternate between sides until we get it fairly snug, and then you can tighten the rest of the way. Make sure it's secure, it's not going to fall down. And there we have it. It's now fully mounted. Um, Please be sure and uh, check out our training video on proper weatherproofing techniques so you can get it properly weatherproofed as well. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you found this useful. Of course, if you have any questions or concerns at all, you can contact Eon Tech Support by emailing techsupport at eon.com. Thank you very much. And remember, whatever you do, always be safe.